Hello. This next video in the Grade 10 Academic Science for Ontario series concerns and deals with the skills involved in correctly and successfully solving for unknowns using the thin lens equation and the magnification equations. This video is specifically for my Grade 10 Academic Science class, but hopefully those of you who are taking Grade 10 Science in other countries or in other areas will find it to be useful as well. So let's begin. Let's say, for example, you are given the following variables or quantities. It's a concave, or sorry, a converging uh, lens with a focal length equal to positive 7.2 centimeters and an object whose distance d sub o is equal to positive 21 centimeters. In this example, I will be structuring the problem so that we are finding the missing quantity or variable, the distance to the image. As you know, you always begin with the main or topic equation or topic sentence, as I sometimes call it. And so that equation is the equation, if I do, I die. So that would be 1 over the focal length is equal to 1 over the distance to the object plus 1 over the distance to the image. Note that these terms or variables are reciprocals of each of the unknowns or each of the quantities, for example, E sub i here. In trying to determine the value for D sub i, we begin by trying to isolate d sub i. And in doing so, we will subtract from this side d sub o, and we will also subtract d sub o from this side. So what you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other to maintain the equality or the balance. And in this case, the quantity d sub o is subtracted out, and that leaves us with the equation for 1 over di. I'm going to rearrange the equation so my unknown is on the left hand side and I'm left with 1 over f <coughs> minus 1 over d o. Now it is a matter of installing or substituting in the given values. In this case the focal length is positive since it is a converging lens and so we put in the positive value of 7.2 centimeters along with the units of course. In quantitative sciences, it's very important that the unit be accompanying the quantity, or the, the amount. D sub O, as given by the problem, is 21 centimeters. And now it's a matter of finding the reciprocal of each of those. With your scientific calculator, if you look for your scientific, at your scientific calculator, you will probably find a key. It may be a uh, second function or maybe, maybe a primary function, but it is called the reciprocal key, and it might look like this, <coughs> or alternatively, it might look like this. This key or button allows you to enter any number, and it will automatically determine the reciprocal of that number. So in the case of 1 divided by 7.2 centimeters, if you enter 7.2 into your calculator and hit one of these two buttons, then you will end up with a whole string of digits, and we will just write down a couple of those. It's a good idea to always carry some extra digits for precision purposes. And once again, don't forget the unit. And when we take the reciprocal of 21, we find out that it comes out to be 0 0.04762. When I do the math and add these together, I find out that this comes out to be 0 0.019127 centimeters. But of course, it's not 1 over di that I'm interested in. I'm interested in di. And so I need to take the reciprocal of both sides. That is to say, I need to flip 1 over di, so it becomes di over 1. And if I do that to this side, I must do it also to this side. And so when I flip 0 0.019127 centimeters, 
I end up with 10.9 and a bunch of other digits rounded to two decimal places, 10.96 centimeters. That would be the distance to the image if I was to measure it. Here is my principal axis. Here is my optic axis. I have a focal point of 7.2 centimeters. This is my point of prime. I have an object that is approximately three times the focal length away, somewhere over here. Some object. And that would then present an image whose distance is 10.96 approximately 11 centimeters, which may be somewhere over here. And so if I was to measure this distance, I should find out that it is very close to 11 centimeters. Notice that the value, the magnitude of the distance to the object is, comes out to be a positive number. And you may recall that a positive distance or length with lenses indicates that that item is real. So in this case, the image is a real image as opposed to a virtual image. Now we can set about finding the magnification factor or the magnification of the image relative to the original object. Once again, you may recall that the magnification equation, uh, there are actually two of them and they are equal to each other, of course, hi, the height of the image, and the ratio to the height of the object is equal to the negative of the distance to the image divided by the distance to the object. So these ratios are equivalent to one another. And now it's a matter of installing or substituting the values that you know from what you calculated or what you were given. In this case, I don't have any information on height, so this does not present any usefulness to me. But I do, of course, have this information. So don't forget the negative sign. The negative sign tells you that the quotient or the result of this equation or this division is going to be, in this case, virtual or negative. So the distance to the image we calculated earlier as being 10.957 centimeters. And the distance to the object from the original problem was 21 centimeters. When I carry out this division, I find out that the magnification comes out to be roughly negative 0 0.52 times. So you can interpret this to mean that the image is 0 0.5 times as big as the original, or one half roughly the size of the original. Please don't forget to finish off your statement by putting in the appropriate symbol for what it was you were trying to find out in the first place. So what we have is an image that is real as given by the fact that it had a positive image distance and the image is smaller, oops, smaller than the object. is indicated by the fractional value. And the image is inverted relative to The original object. And that is indicated by the negative sign in front of the 
magnification. So in terms of SALT, the acronym for size, attitude, location, and type, the size is smaller by roughly one half. Its attitude is inverted due to the negative sign of the magnification equation. Its location is approximately 10.9 or 11 centimeters from the optic center of the converging lens. And the type is virtual, is real, as indicated by the positive sign with the DI. And so you are able to determine all of the properties of that image by doing the math with the thin lens equation and along with the magnification equation. I hope this is of some help for you for study purposes, for reviewing, for clarification. Uh, thank you very much for listening and watching. And I hope to uh, put together some more videos in the future. Thank you.